What's your idea of adventure? Something extreme? Or something that's just totally amazing? Get inspired by this group of friends on their journey of discovery all over Australia. These are their tales to tell. Yo, name is Bukmak. Ngaragalayako Mongol. That's my own name. I'm a resident here at Inyike homeland. My occupation is a teacher, and I'm also one of grand grandchild of the woman that is the guardian of this area. And yo, I love living here and maintaining the traditional way of life. And it's very very important that we hold on to this system of law, but well as also maintaining the connection between the Western knowledge as well because it's very important we're living in two worlds so we have to balance the two worlds together. We live, hunt both in the water and also on land and it's very important to keep that knowledge as well like I said before to keep it going, maintain. Keep your mind open at any time. In the shallows and the edge of the water, how deep you go, you know it all comes to your you gotta have all your senses open. Anything. So you're looking for clay? Yeah. Clay, if you see it, okay. a clay, a red clay, <laughs> it's cool. that's a crocodile looking at you, following you. I just saw a crocodile glare over there, so um, we're we heading go straight there out. to check it out. There. Close his eyes. Probably went underwater. <laughs> Why are we doing this? You're getting a bit scared, man. Yes. Yeah, well, you know what? I think anyone sensible enough should be a little bit worried right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is how uh, we're walking closer to the creek up here, the freshwater creek where saltwater creek, and that's where all the crocodiles hang out. And we're just going to go wade up there. Knee deep in mud. The fish so there's heaps of blood in the water. It's all in all pretty scary. Wading in knee to white steep murky water. And we're after seeing a crocodile. Seen a crocodile ten minutes before in the same spot. That's mud crabs. Yeah, and a bit of uh, mullet. So we're putting our spear to good use. Leave the spear in there, and just <laughs> with your thumb. See how it's, Ooh. yep, see how it's yeah. coming out. Now, bite back over here, and then just push it off. Just like that. There you go. You can touch it. Yeah. But still be careful. What will it do to him? You or me, if we, we step on it. Well, it, it causes in the pain, big pain. Yeah. Poison it, your, your foot will swell like a melon. Maybe 80 meters from our tent. But, uh, I, can, I don't know how that's here. Do you feel safe? <laughs> Do we feel safe? Well, the Yolngo world is made up of two fundamental foundations, and that is the Dua and the Iricha. We stand together as one, and everything in our world that you smell, hear, feel, touch, you walk on is doing Yiricha. Animals, trees, the whole environment, even the sky, the time of day, moon, the stars, the ocean. Animals in the ocean, animals on the land. Right? Every living creature is doing Yiricha, just like us. Now the world is created for a purpose, for us to inhabit the land. And also, with the land comes responsibility. We don't own these things, they own us. 
we're pretty much just a guardian for this country. And we are guided by the rules of the environment, the nature itself. Our law is not ruled by man, it is ruled by the law itself. It existed just like Mother Earth, just like the environment, just like everything else around that's not man-made. So we are governed by that, and that keeps us going forward. All right, perfect. Well, thank you for everything. Yeah, it's been awesome. Yeah, of course. Thanks for coming in. That's all right. We'll see you soon. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>